गाइस दिस इज प्रिया वेलकम बैक टुडे इज डे फोर इन यूरोप वी गॉट अप एट फाइव ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग वी हैड अ बस फ्रॉम पेरिस टू एम्स्टरडैम एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक फ्रॉम आर नियरेस्ट बस स्टेशन जस्ट टू गिव यू ए जस्ट वी हैड यूरल पासिस टू ट्रैवल विद इन यूरोप बट यू नीड सीट रिजर्वेशन विथ यूरल टू ट्रैवल टू एंड फ्रो फ्रांस yesterday we went to gare du nord that's a train station here in paris to reserve our seats but all the seats were already gone as this is the peak tourism time here so we had to book bus tickets online from paris to amsterdam with blah blah bus which costed us 125 euros for two tickets including service fee our last destination is luxembourg then we are coming back to paris So we reserved two tickets from Luxembourg to Paris in the train station itself. It's a 7-hour bus ride to Amsterdam, but looking at this view, we don't mind. Around 9 9:30, we had a stop for breakfast. The bus stop is beside a metro station so we'll take a metro to our hotel I'll mention the name of the bus station below it's quite difficult to pronounce Yesterday we had no energy to go anywhere Today we took a metro to Amsterdam Central you can find ticket vending machines in every metro station We took 2 days metro passes which cost 15 euros per ticket and it includes metro bus and tram rides. This is the city center all the best known sites and attractions are in this area within easy walking distance or you can just hop on a tram or bus and go from one place to another. This is Dam Square. Dam Square is one of the most famous destinations in city center. This place is the heartbeat of the city. It stays lively most of the time during the whole day. You can book your tickets online to visit Madame Tussauds and the Royal Palace. From Dam Square we took a tram to Rijks Museum. The price was 20 euros per ticket. You can book it on their website. I'll attach all the links in the description box below. Rijks Museum is one of the main cultural attractions in Amsterdam and a must visit for every Amsterdam first time visitor. It has a large collection of Dutch golden age paintings and masterpieces from some of the most famous artists. You at least need 3 to 4 hours to explore the entire museum.
the Rijks Museum itself is also a masterpiece. Uh, the collection is presented in a stunning building with amazing interior designs. There are so many eateries outside the museum. We came a little farther to this lovely restaurant for a late lunch. It is almost 5 o'clock in the evening so we sat alongside one of those beautiful canals and enjoyed the sunset. Local markets in Amsterdam are very colorful and lively. In the night, we visited two main shopping streets in Amsterdam city center. I'll mention the names down below. Then came back to our hotel and had dinner in a nearby restaurant and this was the end of our day one. It's day 2 and we have so many things planned today but first off we checked out of our hotel and moved to a hotel near the central station. We have a train to catch from here to Belgium tomorrow. That is the central station guys, can you believe that's a train station? We went to the bus station then bought two tickets to Zanse Shan's windmills with bus number 356 I guess. The tickets were 32 euros each to and fro. Searching for my highs. You 
can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down This is Zanse Shans. It's a unique part of Netherlands full of wooden houses, mills, barns and workshops. If you are coming to Netherlands, do not miss this place. It's beyond beautiful and a must visit. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Katrina Huva is a cheese farm inside Zanse Shans. It's free to enter. There is a large shop inside the building where you will get to taste different types of their cheese before buying. There was also a section of chocolates, sauces, dips and kitchen gadgets. We thoroughly enjoyed immersing ourselves in such a gorgeous little countryside village. It was nice walking around the trail alongside the windmills and checking out some of the shops. Alright guys, I wanted to upload the entire Amsterdam blog in one go but the video was too long so I divided it into two parts. I'll be uploading the second part very soon. If you like this blog then please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.